hey guys welcome back to my kitchen in today's video I'm gonna share with you two dishes today I'm gonna to show you how to make my citrus garlic roasted broccoli it's gonna be delicious also I'm gonna show you how to make my version of spaghetti aglio e olio it is so simple so traditional and it's going to be absolutely delicious so let's go over all of the ingredients and let's get started okay guys first things first you're going to preheat your oven to 400 degrees you're going to get a large pot of water boiling on the stove for your ingredients you're going to need some pasta i've got some spaghetti pasta here and the kind that i like to use is just regular plain spaghetti except the one that i use has little ridges in it and it makes just the perfect pasta for sauces it helps trap on some of that sauce you're going to need some breadcrumbs parsley garlic salt pepper red pepper flakes for the roasted broccoli you're going to need some garlic orange zest lemon zest the juice of one lemon the juice of half of a lemon olive oil and your broccoli you're also going to need olive oil for the um pasta so let's move on over to the stove and get this going okay guys so i am just finishing up zesting my orange i've also zested my lemon i zested the whole lemon and i'm zesting about a little over half of this orange okay i'll set that aside and then we're just going to drizzle over some olive oil onto the broccoli now you can season this with some salt and pepper just for a little bit of you know a little bit more flavor i go a little bit lighter handed with the pepper because i want the citrus to be the main attraction of this broccoli so all i'm going to do is just toss this together and make sure it's very well coated I'm gonna add in a little bit of this garlic not much and then just kind of smoosh that around and make sure it's all coated on the broccoli uh oh so all of the broccoli gets a little bit of everything and it's gonna be delicious I'm gonna even this out spread it out very good like that and now we're just going to pop this in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes until it's nice and golden and beautifully roasted okay guys hopefully you can see everything that i'm doing first i'm going to salt my water just a little handful of salt and get that mixed around in there okay and I am going to add in my spaghetti. You can add as little or as much as you want. Like that. So I'm going to go ahead and add in my pasta. Get that going. You want to stir your pasta for the first minute of cooking. So that way it ensures that your pasta doesn't stick together. It might take a little bit of finessing to get it into the pan, but just keep working with it and you will get there. It'll finally go down in there. So, get that in there. Okay, so I've got a large pan here over low heat. It's coming up to temperature. And you're gonna start off by adding in your olive oil. You want to add in a pretty good amount of olive oil, right at maybe about a third of a cup, maybe to a half a cup of olive oil, because this is going to make some uh, kind of a sauce. And to this, 
we are going to add in our garlic. Now you can add in as much or as little garlic as you want. That's up to you. And I want this to heat up together so that way the garlic infuses its flavor into the oil. Now, you can add red pepper to this if you want to. I like to add the red pepper into the olive oil along with the garlic. So that way it just has enough time to release its flavors and get into that oil. So that way it coats the pasta really, really well. So while this is coming up to heat, and my pasta is cooking. I'm just going to babysit that. And I will meet you right back here when we put this together. Okay, guys. My garlic has started sizzling. And I don't want my garlic to burn. So what I'm going to do is add in just a little bit of this pasta water. and it will help keep that garlic from burning. I am going to make sure this is on low. And I'm gonna cook this for another minute or two. My pasta is almost ready to be put in here. So, I'm just going to keep an eye on this, keep an eye on my pasta, and I'll, and we'll put this together in just a minute. It's going to take another minute or so for my pasta to get done, so yeah, I'll meet you right back here. My pasta is al dente. It's got a little bite still left in the middle. I'm just going to add this to my sauce here. And at this point, you can go ahead and turn your heat off if you're cooking with cast iron because it's going to retain its heat for quite some time. Get all of this pasta in here. Okay, all we're going to do now is just toss this pasta in with this olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, and garlic and red pepper flakes. And it's going to soak up the, like, the saucy juice. And it's going to continue cooking. Now, if your liquid gets too thin, you can certainly add in more pasta water. But you want it to be coated and kind of saucy, if that makes sense. It's going to be absolutely delicious. Okay, so now at this point... I'm going to add in my parsley. Add that in there. I'm going to add in just a touch more salt. Don't want to add too much because the pasta is salty. You can add salt and pepper if you want. You certainly do not have to. I like to add a little bit of breadcrumb. I don't like to add too much because I'm going to top it with some more bread crumbs when I serve it. Just give this a toss. Now I know a lot of people like to add cheese in here. I don't find that it needs it because it's such a simple, beautiful dish. But you can certainly add it in 
if you want to. Um, I would probably go with a more traditional cheese um, like Pecorino and over um, Parmesan. I think it would give it a better flavor and uh, I'm pretty sure like that's what they would put in here. I'm not too sure about that but that's what I would recommend that you do if you do put cheese in here. You can also put lemon uh, lemon zest in here to give it a more brighter flavor. I am going to add just a touch more of this pasta water because I don't want this to get dry. I want it to stay quite saucy. And that is pretty much it. My broccoli is done. So I'm going to cut that off. And we are ready to plate everything. I will show you what it looks like when we get it plated. Okay guys, so I've just got everything plated up and I just, what you want to do when the broccoli comes out of the oven is just go ahead and squeeze over the lemon juice and the orange juice um, and just give it a toss and then plate it up. But that is ready to go. I've got my spaghetti over here ready to go. Um, I had to take a minute and turn the air conditioner on because it gets so hot in this kitchen. But anyways, we're here for the food, right? So I know these are absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and give them a taste for you guys. Let's get some of this pasta. That pasta is so simple and delicious. It is just amazing on its own. So now I'm gonna go ahead and try this broccoli. It's got that citrus flavor. It is so light and delicious. Mm. It is perfect for the springtime and the summertime when it's really, really hot. This meal is absolutely perfect. You can serve um, some bread alongside this to dip into the olive oil sauce from the spaghetti. Um, but I'm just giving it simple today and we're just gonna serve it as is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and if you want either one of these recipes or any of my other recipes you can check out my website it's linked in the description box below you can just go there and find whatever recipe you would like so yeah you guys i am ready to dig in and i think i'm going to enjoy this meal very much so i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys